Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn it love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And uh, I, don't, I don't have my mailbag um, stuff. Yeah, y'all, y'all know. Yeah, we we in the mailbag or, or Instagram <laughs> DM uh, this morning. And so um, the question was. Um, what what is your favorite throwing motion i guess and also i guess they he was kind of framing this into a, a, a two or three part question where he said you know he was having trouble with um getting rid of the ball in the pocket and also escaping the pocket and so of course you know we come up with some video footage you know where we'll talk about that a little bit and so to me in, in terms of the throwing motion thing, all, oh, he was asking me what throwing motions do I use? He, he watched the videos. All right, so the throwing motion is whatever the quarterback comes with, especially in Mutt, you can't, in Mutt, you can't change it anyway. So I, I don't know. I don't know what, what Doug Williams has. I, has, I have no idea. Um, I, whatever they come with, that's the one I use. I, I don't really change them. Um, I used to, I used to think it was an issue until I really started like lock it into my pocket mechanics and stuff. And so what I can tell you guys is that <clears throat> the longer you squeeze L2 in the pocket, the better things will go right up until you want to do one of two things, which is either escape or make the throw. So if you're holding L2 and you can kind of this is this is just me. I, I know everybody has their own different throwing motion things because they use freeform and all that stuff. But I don't I don't use freeform, but I use L2 as a part of my pocket presence. So like, watch this play right here. Like, what? This is L2. Me stopping the cut up in the cut up in the pocket like that. And so, right before the throw, though, I'm off of L2, and it's just a, a you know a lob down the field for which you, you saw the results of that. And so for me, squeezing L2 is probably the most important thing in terms of pocket presence um, that you can do because it, it one, it, it, like I said, it gets you ready to either escape or throw the ball. You guys see me drift sometimes. I talk about me drifting in the pocket a lot and I drift because that's a way for me to kind of move the safeties, the safeties kind of drift with the quarterback. And so and create different passing angles and so a lot of the times you see if if you're watching even though i'm drifting in the pocket look at the actual footwork itself the footwork itself i'm ready to throw at any point in time even though i'm drifting in the pocket and so i don't get sacked a lot because now i don't i don't really get blitzed a lot and the people who blitz me they don't blitz me for long because i get rid of the ball fairly quickly and i, I do that through you know trying to identify the defense and all that other kind of stuff but in the end it's still the pocket presence and the, and the ability to get rid of the ball so so in essence the drifting does not hurt me now in terms of like um especially like on a play let's talk about like a play like that where you have to get rid of the ball in an instant. A lot of the times, the reason why when you guys try to throw to the flats or, or make a quick throw like that, it's late coming out of your hands or it feels like it's it, the game is dragging and, and the, get, it, the ball won't come out of your hands is because you 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 weren't squeezing L2 prior to making the throw. It's like you, you just caught it and you're throwing it. And so in essence, it makes the mechanics and it makes the reactions especially the, the court QB animations in terms of throwing, it makes your delivery a lot slower. Yeah. And so 
just squeezing L2 in the pocket. And, and first of all, it's, it's just going to give you those slide steps as you navigate, you know, as you move in the, the left thumbstick, left, right, up, back, whatever it is that you're doing. So, you know, if you're squeezing L2 while you're doing this, you're going to get those slide steps. Sometimes you can let up off of it to take real steps, you know, or add a little bit of R2. Uh, you old school guys may remember how you used to escape, have to escape the pocket a long time ago, you had to squeeze both triggers. And so, yeah, yeah. But basically it's like, as long as I'm in the pocket and you see me able to anchor myself and shit, now I use it a lot to get my weight shifted back forward so that I can step into my throws like that and then be able to get, you know, keep the velocity on the ball and get it over the defense. And so a lot of times, again, you'll see me drift but you see those are actual, you know, I'm, I'm just walking the pocket, so to speak, or he's, he's just backpedaling a little bit. But the whole time he's ready to throw, I'm just creating a different throwing angle. And also it's it is to a degree my understanding of my quarterback's release and how long it takes for, it takes for him to get rid of the ball before, you know, he gets like the under pressure or, or any of that kind of stuff. And so, man, y'all have no idea, man, I. I like some of the stuff I try, I don't release or I don't talk about on purpose because some of this stuff is glitchy. It's, it's like, yeah, the, the virtual I'm doing this week, the, uh, I don't even know what his name is, something about, yeah, it, it has to do with this very subject, but um, there's, a, there's a, a section of the video where I talk about, you know, every quarterback has an escape artist and how to get in and out of the pocket real quick. I mean, like, yeah, you know, like, like watched him, him just snap right into that animation to take off. And so there are ways to do this stuff, especially with these QB draws. All this, see, this kind of stuff is glitchy. This is why I don't run stuff like this. Um, because to me, it's just, it's, it's super glitchy. But in terms of just navigating the pocket to buy time and escape, you know, knowing how to shift your weight and step up, all that stuff is key, especially, you know, in, in Madden is definitely a game of <laughs> inches and centimeters and all that kind of stuff and millimeters. And I mean, like, so being able to step up in the pocket, being able to navigate the pocket that whole time, I'm squeezing L2 all the way up until it's time for me to throw. Like I said, for you freeform, um, the people that, that freeform, I don't know how this will, this is, there's a way this can work for you. <laughs> you won't hear it in this video, but there's a way this can work for you as well, because I know it's difficult to gauge sometimes, you know, how much are you squeezing the L2 and when to let it go and all the other kind of stuff. But in terms of just escaping the pocket, I mean, it's ways to escape the pocket. I mean, right up inside of the pocket and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, yeah, I'll have a lot of that on this video, on this upcoming virtual, but, um, it's like I said, to me, it's, it's, everything is like threefold. It just depends on what's important to you at the time. You know, if there's nowhere to throw, then escaping is important to me at the time. And so, you know, I'm, I'm holding L2 and letting it go when it's time to escape essentially, you know, what you're looking at right here. And so, that's just going from L2 to R2. That's just toggling. It's, it's basic toggling inside the pocket. But, you know, like I said, there are there are ways to trigger certain things. And so I'll cover that in the video. But, you know, as you see here, it that's Dak Prescott. He's not the fastest guy in the world. But, you know, every quarterback has some escapability. I don't care how slow <laughs> or yeah, how slow they may be. <laughs> they have some escapability. There is there's ways to to enhance your acceleration within the pocket, you know, so that you can actually move in directions aside from the normal front, back, side, side. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Boy, yeah. See. Yeah. UGK man. Never mind. So just stepping up in the pocket as you're looking at looking at right here you're looking at me step up in the pocket but you see i'm i don't look ready to throw huh and so there are ways to control 
all of your steps within the pocket and, and all this other stuff, especially with all these blitzes that are out now and the A-gaps and all that kind of stuff, you have to be able to get rid of the ball like in a, yeah, in a millisecond. So, you know, if you have the options of being able to run and being able to throw, hey man, that's a good recipe. Anyway, it